I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com and today I want to talk about using substitutes for alcohol once you stop drinking. You know? um, I think this is one of the first things that people sort of think about is, um, you know, what can I replace the alcohol with? <clears throat> you know, can I replace it with alcohol-free beer? Can I replace it with um, Coke or Fanta or whatever it is, you know, um, alcohol-free wine? heard some people saying you know what's that grape juice um anyway you know <laughs> this is one of the first things that people actually think about and you're heading down the completely wrong uh, road when you're talking about this because you're trying to keep um you know this is not about stopping uh drinking right it's about changing the lifestyle it's about changing the uh the routines and the rituals and all that kind of stuff, right? So if you try and replace the alcohol with something else, right? You're not replacing the ritual. Um, you're maintaining the ritual, right? You're, <clears throat> let's say that you normally come home uh, from work and you sit in front of the television at night and you enjoy your uh, glass of wine or a few glasses of wine or a few cans of beer, right? So then you, substitute out you take the wine out of the equation or the beer out of the equation and you put in something different right so say that you replace it with orange juice right what you're basically doing is you're taking the old ritual and you're substituting the orange juice but you're keeping the ritual right you're trying to hold on to that ritual right it's the same if you go to a bar i've done this where you say well yeah i'm not going to drink alcohol anymore but I'm going to try and sit there for three or four hours and let's say you try and drink orange juice again you know it's not going to work because you know um, it's horrible I mean I've done it I've, I've tried to do this and it's just completely boring because the, the whole reason for you being in the pub is gone you know the whole reason for you being in the bar is to drink right <clears throat> you know um you know, you might say, well, I, yeah, I've gone into a bar before and I've sat there with my cup of coffee and I've had a chat and I've had a great time and stuff like that. I'm not saying that, right? You know, maybe you do, but that's on occasion. But I'm, that's not part of the ritual, right? You're, you're, I'm talking here about the ritual, the part of your life which is um, that you normally drink, that you are trying to substitute the uh, alcohol. You're trying to take out the alcohol and put something different in it, right? And you can't do that it's because you're trying to you're trying to get rid of the ritual you're trying to break down all that all those big parts of your habit um, all those parts of the, the the drinking which is as i say is not just because of the alcohol it's because of the whole thing it's because of this is what you do in the evening to relax this is what you do to deal with stress this is what you do to um, sleep or whatever it is that you're using to use an alcohol as a tool for right you've got to find something else right and um, a soft drink is never going to be uh, a good substitute right for alcohol because it's not going to do the job right so if you're using alcohol to relax right and then you try and use orange juice to relax instead right it's not going to work you have to find something different to do you've got to find something uh, better and believe me there are way 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 more uh, better things out there to do than simply uh, drinking you know drinking to cure stress or to solve problems or to sleep or to relax or any of those things right there's something out there which is 10 times better to do it um, there's, there's a lot of things out there that are 10 times better um, that's your job is to find that substitute right so find the substitute to the bigger problem right not just find the substitute to the alcohol do you understand you know what you have to do is to prove to yourself really quickly as quickly as you possibly can right um hopefully you've got this sorted out beforehand but prove to yourself really quickly that you don't need alcohol in your life anymore right you don't need that ritual in your life anymore this is what you've got to because you know you're fighting two 
things, right, on two fronts, right, you're fright, fighting. On the one level is the alcohol and, and that sort of small area of your life, right, and dealing with that. Once you get the, the alcohol out of, your, out of your, your system and you start putting it into your system, that's going to be a, a declension, right? It will decline very uh, slowly. The cravings will decline slowly. All, all that kind of discomfort you used to be in it, uh, drinking alcohol, that's all going to disappear slowly, right? But it'll disappear, right? But the big uh, fight that you've got in your hands is up here, right? If you don't um, immediately start saying, well, this is where I'm pushing myself to. I don't need alcohol anymore. I don't need to do this anymore. I don't need to do any of this in my life anymore. Um, then you're keeping that whole thing alive, right? If you don't get rid of the ritual, if you don't get rid of, um, you know, if you keep trying to substitute something else into the old rituals, uh, you keep the whole thought in your life uh, alive in your in your mind. You know, I keep talking about these e-cigarettes because I think it's just a great example of what how people are going wrong, and they replace the cigarettes with the e-cigarette, right? And they're not getting um, as much of pleasure they're not getting any pleasure out of it right they're getting a little bit of a you know it might be hitting the the spot of the nicotine right so it's it's dampening down the nicotine but it's not the same as smoking and you see them they're fucking miserable you know i mean they don't want to be doing this they want to carry on smoking and it's all because they're not getting rid of hot, all that thing you know they're still you know if if they still have to go outside and smoke, right? If they're working in an office, they still have to go and do all the ritual of going outside and sit standing outside with all the other smokers who are all smoking real cigarettes. The cigarette that smells like a cigarette, cigarette that tastes like a cigarette, that burns your throat like a cigarette, right? These people are all still doing that, but you, with your e-cigarette, you're still following the ritual, but you're not getting the end reward, the full reward, right? You always feel like you're being cheated, right? So whenever you, uh, whenever they take out a cigarette, then they, they would normally take out a cigarette, then they take out the e-cigarette. So, you know, the ritual is not died. That's the thing that you have to get rid of really, really quickly is the ritual, right? Get rid of that, break it down, book it out and replace it with a new ritual. And that's the quickest and easiest way of defeating um, the alcohol and the alcohol up here, guaranteed, right? So don't look for substitutes. I'm not telling you not to eat and drink and stuff like that. Do, you have to still do that, right? But don't do it as a replacement, right? Don't do it to excess, you know? Don't, if you, if you replace it with Coke, for instance, right? And you, instead of drinking five or six cans of beer every night, you start drinking five or six cans of Coke. Then in six months time, you're gonna have another problem to deal with, right? Which is gonna be obesity, right? So, you know, start out where you mean to go start out healthy you know start out making good choices and replace that original um ritual and that behavior and the habit and you break it down bit by bit you know i mean that's all the habit is that's all your behavior is is minor rituals all uh, in this big framework right so the habit is the framework the behavior is what keeps the framework up and the rituals are what keep the behavior up, you know? So one ritual might be sitting there drinking um, your alcohol at night after you've stopped work. Another might be drinking your alcohol when you're out with your friends. Um, another might be drinking alcohol where, with a meal or whatever it is. These are all little rituals. And if you notice it, you always do. It's like a dot, 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 dot. You do one thing and then it's another. And one thing leads to another, it's like the trigger the action, the reward, trigger action, reward. These are all your little rituals. So break down the rituals, get rid of the rituals, um, push yourself for uh, to replace them with something else and you're home free, I'm telling you, don't substitute. So listen, if you have any, any questions at all about this, any suggestions, uh, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel, give us a, a thumbs up if you liked the video. Uh, come on over to the website and sign up to the newsletter um there's a free course there uh, that you can take uh and until next time um stay safe keep the alcohol out of your mouth um don't use substitutes you know break down the rituals break down the
the habits, break down the behaviors. It's a gradual process, but you'll get there, you know. You'll never get there if you try and uphold the rituals. If you, if you keep feeding the ritual with, um, with something else, then, you know, it's a losing battle, which will eventually lead you back to uh, the thing that you want most. Um, and that's going to be the alcohol, unfortunately. If you hold up the ritual, then, you know, the alcohol is going to survive. So, I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Onwards and upwards.